These old Hornby BR blue and grey Mark I coaches were made with various running numbers from about 2002 to 2009. Their origins were a little earlier and I have some maroon examples from their top link range which were in production from about 1996 to 1999. They have Hornby's version of flush glazing which is a great improvement over their earlier models. The bogey and underframe detail is good and the coach ends have steps, cables and water fillers etc all nicely moulded on. The corridor connections are well done but of course are too shallow to allow the coaches to traverse radius 1 curves. The roof is well supplied with vents but the roof joins are a little too prominent. The interiors and seating are nicely moulded in maroon. The painting and printing are superbly done but here there is one thing that detracts from their appearance. Hornby have painted the visible sides of the underframe in blue, the same as the body sides, whereas they should be black. This is not only incorrect but makes the coaches seem shorter than they are. The other problem is that Hornby only made brake seconds and first class composite coaches. The ordinary second class, which are much more numerous and therefore more useful to us modellers, were strangely omitted from the range. Fortunately, both of these issues can be corrected and this video will cover both, starting with downgrading a first class composite to a second class. The first class coach has a yellow stripe over the first class compartments and the number one on some of the doors. The area around the yellow stripe was very carefully masked off and a thin coat of rail match BR blue was brushed on. As can be seen, more than one coat was necessary. I did one side of the coach at a time in order to avoid any smudging. And in the meantime, I made a start on removing the number ones from the doors. I wanted to try and remove the printed number one without spoiling the surrounding blue paint on the door. I used tea cut and applied it very gently and slowly with a cotton bud. Taking my time, the white printed number was eventually removed, but I wasn't able to avoid removing some of the blue as well as can be seen in the close-up shots. In an attempt to sort this I decided to spray matte varnish, not over the whole coach sides but only over the relevant areas. The coach sides were therefore completely masked off leaving only the door panels exposed. I used rail match spray matte varnish and it has covered up the areas where I removed too much paint quite well. I then turned my attention to the brake second coach, beginning with the roof. The roof was masked off and airbrushed in a darkish matte grey. Anyone who's seen any of my videos before will know that I hate shiny black plastic and I hate shiny wheels. It will therefore come as no surprise to find that this next section covers weathering. My usual dirty brown weathering mix was applied to the wheels and then to the bogies and underframes. All of these are now dirty brown rather than black, which I think is much more realistic. The ends of the coaches were treated more lightly than the underframes as I wanted the blue colour to still be visible. A dilute wash of my usual dirty brown was applied to the coach ends. When it was touch dry, most of it was removed. This was done using a cotton bud moistened with thinners. The corridor connection did not receive this treatment however as I wished it to remain more dirty. By now the X first class coach had been completed 
And here are shots of both sides. Can you see where the yellow stripe was? I then tested the coaches on my layout. I have some small radius points and the coaches as made are a little light. I found that there were frequent derailments so thought that some extra weight was needed. I used liquid lead which is a product made up of very small balls of lead. This will be glued in under the coach chassis. The first stage was to construct and glue in some boxes out of black plastic card to hold the lead in place and stop it escaping. The lead balls are very small and will find their way out of the tiniest holes if you give them the chance. Once I was satisfied there was no escape route, the lead was added and fixed by pouring dilute PVA all over it. Once dry, it was shaken to make sure all was well and the coaches replaced on the layout. They were tested again and this time there were no derailments. Success! And finally, the whole rake in service on my Cornish layout pastiche. I hope you've enjoyed this video showing how a few simple improvements can make already good looking coaches even better. That's all for now. See you next time.